coming here is always an interesting bit of emotions for me. This is uh, the city of my birth. My earliest memories in life are from here. It's kind of an, a strange thing also because at the time I spoke German and I speak pretty much no German now. But the city is also important for me because of other reasons. I've met some of the most enthusiastic students I've ever had in Germany. Very dedicated, extremely, extremely committed for years and years and years. I've never really been in a place too long to call it home. And then it becomes a faded memory and I move somewhere else because my dad was kind of nomadic because of the embassy. I kind of spent some years in one place, spent some years in another, some years in another. And so this place is home, but not. It's familiar and not at the same time. It's incredible. But I think that's something that a lot of people can relate to now, not physically, but just not feeling the sense of connectedness to one place or to one thing and to be on the move all the time. The world is so fluid now, right? And that's okay to not have an anchor to a place. As a result of not having a place that I consider ultimately home, I think what happened with my life is I, I consider people home. There are people in my life that are anchors, that are fixtures. So when I come here, I think of my parents, I think of my sister. And to think that this is such an incredible part of history. Ironically, it's a massive wall, and I stop here at this spot. And my students will know why this is significant. It's, I run the dream program. <laughs> so we're uh, coming down some memory lane. I asked to come to the apartment building where we used to live when I was little. So I came here uh, to Berlin a few years ago with my sister because she and I both have memories of this place. And we stood right there, it was nighttime, and our volunteers that were helping us put the program together came and we took a picture right there. This is a really heavy moment for me because she's no longer with us. This is one of the things that our younger siblings, I have two younger sisters, they don't have memory of this. They, they are, they're a later part of our life. But this is something I shared especially with Simon. So it's a really powerful and beautiful memory to be able to think that I was here with her. This reminds me of her a lot. And she used to do all kinds of tricks on that park and all the kids used to clap and they used to be like, how do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Sanago. Mark Sam. Uh, but are you near Mama? Yeah, no, it's, she's here. Hold on. Here you go. How are you doing? How was your thing yesterday? That's really good. Here, yeah, you get to Mama. Mati, Sanago. Wa alaikum assalam, Germany mein ho? Ye dekhe main kahan khada hu? Ha. Pahunch gaye wahan pe. Ha, pahunch gaye. Ha. Gaadi se sab paise diye hain jaise hamare zamane mein. Yahi park hai na jahan khela karte the. Ha, jahan khela karte the yahi park. Yahan ki kya cheeze yaad hai aapko? Ye 